Has it ever happened to you that you made an awesome environment but it still lacks realism? Well, the chances are you forgot some important ingredients like HDRI and grass. In this video, we are going to teach you how to put an HDRI in your scene, how to render it in your render view and how to create a simple grass using XGen. So let's start. Now, first of all, let's delete all this. Now, let's say you have your environment right here. Now to start it, we are first going to create a plane. Next, let's add some subdivisions to it. That will be enough. Next, we add a deformer, texture deform. And in the texture, we are going to give it a fractal. Or noise whichever you like I'm gonna give it a fractal and there you have a natural looking ground to change the settings further you can tweak these settings for example the height of it the ratio or the frequency now when you feel like this is the ground you want, move on to the step 2. Click on it. Go to XGen. Create a new description. We're gonna keep it spline randomly across the surface and we are gonna use expressions to control it. Click create. Now. The first thing we are going to do is we are going to pull it out and give it a grass shape. Now when you are happy with the shape, go to the length. Now if you want to randomize the length put this expression randomize by the value for example um, let's check 2 5 and 3 that's gonna be a bit too much but let's check yeah it's a bit too much we can control it with this also so I say about this much okay now next thing is let's give it a bit of bend so to break the uniformity of it let's go to modifiers click on add new modifier and add noise as you can see it added a bit of noise in it now in the around end parameter see the around end parameter rotates them but we don't want them all to be rotating in a single direction so to randomize it let's take the same formula and instead of writing it down again open it and paste it here we can change the values as we like so let's let's first try these values not bad let's randomize a bit more let's give it around 15 on this
and let's do it 30. Now, this is much better. That's going to look more organic. So, next we are going to give it the grass look. So, click on the description, go to attribute editor, and in the hair physical shader, give your root and tip the color of the grass. For example, let's click green and a bit darker green. And the tip of the same, just a bit lighter. You see the brown in here? Let's change the second highlight to something similar. Now, now it started looking like a grass. Next thing we gotta change is density of it. So the density will set the amount of the grass you want to put on your screen. So for example, let me set the environment. Now, let's say I want this much. It's a bit too much, but let's check it out. Let's say 5. Okay, so we are almost ready with the grass. So let's try it out in the render view. For that, let's put an HDRI. Moving on to Arnold, let's put a sky dome in it. In the sky dome, we're gonna place a texture in the color node. Select file, click on it, go to the HDRI, click open. Now the first thing you gotta do is turn on the filter and the color space it shouldn't be RGB put it on raw now you have your SGRI set let's try out a render okay nice so I notice a few things the first one are these grains the second one is that I can't see the SGRI in the environment right here. But the overall look I'm happy with. So, the first thing I'm gonna do is correct these noises. So, for that, it's pretty simple. Just go in the render settings, on all render, and increase this amount. Let's say I'm gonna do it 5. Let's save this. And let's try it again. Let's compare. So as you can see, we've reduced the noise quite a bit. You can change the settings more if you like, but I'm quite happy with these. Moving on. Now I need the HDRI in the render view also. So for that, let's go to the render settings again. And in the Arnold renderer, down here you see environment. Let's click on it. And in the background, let's put a sky shader. In the sky shader settings, let's click on color and put a file in it. And let's put the same kpl 2 k And again, Turn off the filters and put it on raw. Now that we have that, let's try it again. Let's try one more render. Let's save this view and render again. Now as I can see there are a few more tweaks to be made. For example, somehow I have more lighting in the scene now. The noise is back, but now that I have the HDRI, I am happy with it. All right, let's let's remove the lighting first and see if the noise resolves itself. So what we did was we created an HDRI and put it in the sky dome, and we told Maya that the scene should be lit by this light only. But then we went into the render settings. And in the environment, we gave it in sky again. Now, due to that, 
let's see the render stats even this guy that should be only used as a background is giving the diffuse and glossy values so it's really simple that we should just turn these off let's save this view again and try the render so as you can see the noise and the extra light is gone so it was all due to the extra diffuse and the glossy values we were getting from this node and we told Maya that we only want to use this as a background now just to show you the outlook of it let's put it on IPR and try looking around And with this, we've reached the end of this tutorial. In this video, we've learned how to create an HDRI, how to render it, and how to create a simple grass using XGen. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them down in the comment section. So if you like the video, hit the like button and make sure to subscribe and share our channel. Thank you so much guys and I'll see you in the next one.